Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here at a crossroads in rural North Carolina to shoot this incredible old grocery store building. And I have to tell you, it's hot as hell and the sun is bright and harsh. Here's the Google Earth view of our location. In this video, I'll be shooting some film, shooting some digital, and I'll share a little bit of history about this crossroad community, which has been added to the National Register of Historic Places. And I mean the entire crossroads, because it's largely unchanged and intact. On this location, I'm shooting my trusty Sony Digital as always, but I'm also shooting Tri-X 400 speed black and white film in my vintage Hasselblad. The tape is an attempt to seal a light leak in the film back. For anyone who might be curious about this camera, I'll give a little intro into it at the end of this video around 1125. The community started in 1828 with the establishment of the first post office. This building, the C.H. Pender Grocery Store, was built in the 1880s by someone named Allison. Later, it was owned by the Olivers, and C.H. Pender bought it in the 1960s. I'm not sure when it closed, but it was still in business as late as 1998. I got distracted from the photography by this abandoned house back in these trees. There are really no viable shots here, but I did want to at least go explore it a little bit. This road began as a stagecoach road. There's an old well not far from here where the stagecoaches would stop for water. It wasn't even paved until the 1940s, if you can believe that, and the crossroad was paved in the 1950s. The smaller part of the building on the left side was a later addition. It was used as a post office. The building on the right is the current post office, built in the 1950s. 
A lot of cars come and go because of that post office. In fact, I came a long way to shoot this building, and when I got here, a car was parked right in front of it. It's like my worst photography nightmare. Luckily, the car moved before too long. I love the fact that this hasn't been boarded up yet. So many abandoned buildings are covered over with plywood and it really detracts from the photographs. According to a report on the Pender store from the National Register of Historic Places, it was open for business continuously from the 1880s until the date of the report which was written in 1998. At that time it was just selling gasoline. To put the age of this building into perspective, here's a few things that happened in the 1880s when it was built. The first electric lights were in development from 1880 to 1882. The gunfight at the OK Corral, 1881. Bob Ford killed Jesse James in 1882. Krakatoa Volcano erupted in 1883. The Benz Motor Wagon, which looked like a three-wheel motorized buggy, was introduced as the first automobile in 1885. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886. Jack the Ripper was busy terrorizing Whitechapel, London in 1888 and the Eiffel Tower opened in 1889 as the tallest structure in the world at the time. The weather forecast had called for partly cloudy, and as you can see, the clouds are trying to build. That's the Allen A. Ellis store built in 1923. Crossroads communities like this were common around here in the 1800s and early 1900s. Stores and other businesses would open at the crossroads with houses extending outward from the center and all surrounded by farmland. People could easily walk to the crossroads to acquire necessities. After roads were paved and cars made traveling to bigger towns easier, these old fashioned crossroads commerce centers began to decline.
The day was saved when we finally got some cloud cover and I had favorable light for the last few shots of the session. Now I'll show you some of the photographs I made on this day. Hey, thanks for sticking around this long. There's a lot of interest in film photography these days, so I thought I'd quickly run through my Hasselblad kit. This is a Hasselblad 500CM made in 1977. The genius of these old Hasselblad medium format cameras is that they were completely modular. This is the film back made in 1980. The center cube is the camera body with the mirror and focusing screen. And of course on the front, I have a 120 millimeter lens, which is equivalent to about 66 millimeters in terms of a full frame camera. It was made by Zeiss in 1998. I also have a 50 millimeter lens, which equates to about 28 millimeters. It was made in 1974. There are leaf shutters in the lenses, not in the camera. The focusing screen can be changed out and the viewfinder can be changed out as well. This is the waist level finder. This is the one you usually see being used on the camera. This is an alternative focusing screen. This is the viewfinder that you saw earlier in the video. I find it much easier to use with my aging eyes, although it's big and it's a heavy beast. That little button can be pushed in to release the film back because this actually covers it up when it's in use on top of the camera. All of this assembled is quite heavy, but it's so much fun to shoot with. Anyways, that's the basics of the Hasselblad 500CM. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keepthoughtson.com.